don't change too much about your listing all at once. The reason is, is if your listing's not performing well right now, you want to change one KPI, one key performance indicator, one thing. Change the title, but not the keywords. Change the bullet points, but not the description. You want to make sure that you're, you're documenting your change. What was it? So this is what I'm saying. This is the first thing. Open a Google Doc, a Google folder, whatever it is, and put the ASIN, the listing, and then say changes, original, put your title, updated title, and the date, and then update your title with whatever you updated it. Therefore, you have the old, you have the new, and then you have the when. This is really, really important because then you know, when did I change that title and did it work? Is that the lever that you needed to pull on to get more sales? Was it the title? And if you test that for a week or two and realize it did not change sales, you did not get more sales or less sales or the same sales, then you need to change something else. That's not working for your visibility. Is it your images? So then you've changed the title. That's fine. Next, you want to change the images. So then you say original pictures, original images, new images. You can put this all in a Google folder and the date at which you made changes. And then two weeks later, go back and analyze the data. That means I'm, you're guessing that you're, you're keeping track. How many units are you selling in a two week period? Track it, track it, write it down, even on a piece of paper, on a sticky note and crayon and marker and pencil on Google Drive um, with voice text. I don't care how you document it. I use Google Drive and folders and titles and that's as sophisticated as I really get sometimes. But if you are all fancy like, then great, do whatever works for you, but document it. So go in and be like, these are the four images I had on this date. On this date, I updated them with lifestyle images and you know graphics and here it is, I updated it on this date and record. How many average sales were you getting prior to this item and how many average sales are you getting now? Did it change? Did it stay the same? If you don't have sales to track, then track page views. Page views. You can check this in your reports in the back end of your ASIN, in your Amazon reports. How many people are looking page views or visits or sessions? Uh, look at those numbers. Document something. And then only focus on that metric. Okay, so if you're looking at your page views and they rise from 1200 page views to 2000 page views after you updated your images, you know that that was a deciding factor and them clicking through. This is testing your stuff. Is your stuff important enough to spend 15 minutes making these changes and documenting? It doesn't take longer than that. It doesn't. To update a title on your listing, it takes less than 15 minutes. You go to your document, you pull the old title, you write the new title, you document the date, you document how many sales you had in that in a 14 day period, you come back, you put it on your calendar in 14 days, come back and check it. Yeah.